god. The chair left the tree, isn't it? Oh my gosh. I can't see without my glasses, but they're pink. It's a pink tree, so I'm just assuming it's a chair of lessons. Holy shit. Cool. Mm -hmm. tried something and um, I wanted to make a dessert because I am so lazy to go to the groceries or go to a shop or um, uber any food in my apartment <laughs> so I tried making my own dessert and oh my goodness I think I am quite successful at it here they are oh my goodness they look so good um, so I mixed some oats with um, chocolates and um, peanuts and I put it in the fridge for I think 30 minutes or maybe an hour but anyway they're frozen treats and they look so cute I think they look cute probably I'm super subjective about them but anyway Yay, I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> okay, um, taste testing them. Mm. Tastes like ice cream. I really like it. <laughs> I can't believe it turned out so well. Very cool. I'm so lost, but I've never been happily lost before. <laughs> I have never been this happily lost before because I'm usually lost anyways. <sighs> Oh my god, it's hail! Holy shit! Oh my god! Oh my god, it's hail! It's ice! Oh my god, it's ice! Holy shit, it's ice!
so I finally got to Musée d'Orsay, which was so worth the wait. It's free every first Sunday, but the caveat is that you have to reserve your tickets three, four, three to four weeks ahead of um, the first month because um, the tickets do run out, I think. And anyway, I will link the billetterie or the ticket office down below so you can reserve your tickets if you're visiting Paris. The building itself is an absolute artwork. It's along the left bank of the Seine, which was why I came from Jardin Tuileries, crossed the Seine uh, bridge to get to the museum. Um, the Gare d'Orsay is just beside this museum and it houses the largest collection of Impressionist and Post-Impressionist paintings in the world, which you will see once I get to the fifth floor. <laughs> the first floor is dedicated to statues and artworks themed around gods and goddesses, which meant that there was a lot of nudity involved. <laughs> I saw the Birth of Venus painting and it was absolutely spectacular. I was blown away. But yeah, I think my favorite part is the Impressionism, um, Impressionism floor, which you will see in a little bit. They also have some modern architecture exhibits, which was very cool as well. And I saw Van Gogh's Saturday Night for the first time. There were a lot of people, but it was still something. It was still very much magical, but I think now my favorite painter is Monet. And you'll see when I tour you in the water lily, water lilies, what the, <laughs> the water lilies series of Monet. Enjoy the clips.
it's Easter today and I am just going to the mass in Sacré-Cœur and then going flea market shopping and then maybe to the, cin the cinemas to watch an old movie. Oh my gosh, I think the bus is leaving now, so I gotta run. <laughs> At least. And I think this is it for me this week. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you subscribe to my channel, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you next week. À la prochaine! Je fais ça comme Betty, at the end of the show. Je vais passer parmi vous, at the end of the show, I'm gonna pass through you. Please do not run away, because I run very fast. À la fin du spectacle, ne partez pas en courant, car je cours très vite. Si vous n'avez pas donné, c'est pas grave, moi non plus. Ladies and gentlemen, aujourd'hui on accepte les pièces 5.